I'm just about, well, I was just upstairs. Um, I was working day yesterday. I've been rolling around in bed thinking about I've got to do the rest of the day 30 30 videos. And um, I'll do some more 30 30 30 videos. And it was like, oh, I, I just watched some YouTube. And if I watched it on the YouTube, you know, it would inspire me. And I watched on YouTube and this woman was declaring her bathroom. But I said, I'm going to do the bathroom next. And then I watched another one and this woman was doing a kitchen. And I thought, oh, yeah, I could do the kitchen next. And then I thought, actually, I, uh, I'm not feeling great today. I've had a, like, it's a long week and I've had a busy day at work and it's been hot or it's stranger. And then I thought, I'll just do, I'll do the, the cupboard in the hallway. And I was like, oh, so much still to declare. So I just have to write this. So, um, you yeah, know, to see how many days I could squeak out of this uh, 30 30 videos. Right, so the kitchen, I've got to do the cupboards, the drawers, the top of the shelves, the pantry, and the hallway, I've got to do the console table. I've got like a window sill with stuff on it. I've got to do the upstairs cupboard in the lounge, I've got to do the sideboard, the TV cabinet, the side table, the cover table, the shelves, and we've got conservatory, I've already done. Um, so I wrote it out anyway, so glass cabinet, which I've already done that. Uh, well, no, the glass cabinet didn't get done then, so you've already seen on day three, covers on day four, the writing desk, yeah, I've got to have a look at the windowsills. Like, for example, I put those Chinese plates on the windowsill just to see what they look like. And I don't like them there, they need to be standing up if anything. And I just, I don't really like stuff on the windowsills here anyway, because you get a lot of seeds, see some of these little black dots, when we have the windows open. The seeds come in from the trees, so you have to wipe them sort of every day. It's pine and stuff on it. Um, don't take them. Oh, really nice. Don't take all these. That's still. <laughs> I kept one of those mats to put my laptop on, um, and that's just a bo box I keep stationary, you know, working. So that's my Firefox hole punch, and a pencil case, and pens, and my phone charger, and a stapler, and blank journals. This one on, and then I've got to do the landing, the cupboard, the shelf, shelf. Oh yeah, to the best shelf. Ooh. See, that's a story. That shelf shouldn't even be there. We used to have a shelf in our bedroom. We got dragged out into the onto the landing when we was having the new mattress delivered, and then we haven't bothered. So we we don't want the shelf in there. We like it without the shelf. So the shelf has now stayed on the landing, and it. Oh, I don't like that landing. So the shelf and the washing bins. Yeah, not much to do with them, I suppose, but um, I guess my favorite job that was, you know, you have that stuff at the washing bin that you never, ever, ever, ever get rid of. <laughs> that sits at the bottom, then. So then there's the front bed, and there's the drawing, and there's shelves, shelves, yeah. Stereo cabinet, it's an old stereo cabinet, there's beds on tables, there's feet wardrobes, there's the drawers in the unit. Then I have the crates and boxes for eBay. Closet, built in wardrobe and chairs and there's stuff on the chairs and then there's our bedroom which I've already done so good and there's crafting which is ongoing project so and these are just a list of things that I've got to do as well um I don't know where I'm going to start today where I'm actually going to start is I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and feed the dog um and then I don't know I'm going to take some parasite and watch because I've got a headache as well I have a cup of tea, take some paracetamols and decide which video, which room I'm going to do today. I might do the bathroom, you know, because if I do the bathroom, there's like, there's a cupboard. The, the bathroom's really old and needs refitting. And we had some quote, oh, it's a really long story. <laughs> Everything's a long story. It's old, it's pink, it's horrible, it's like from the 1970s. Morning, mate. That door's not open yet. Um, hello, boots. Yeah. Trying to feel breakfast. Oh, you fell off the chair. Um, it's from the 1970s. Uh, it's pink, I said that. Um, and we had to quote round to have it refitted. And then when the man was around, he said, Oh, you can get rid of this tank. If you get rid of if you get a new boiler, you can get rid of this tank. And then if you get rid of this tank, we can, you know, have this really fancy bathroom rather than just sort of like replacing what you've got. And we was like, oh yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Let's think about that. And then six months later, we had a boiler service and I was like, oh, your boiler's really old. 
Um, it's the part's not bad enough for it anymore. Even though it works fine and stuff, it'll be a good time to get a new boiler. And we was like, oh, if we get a new boiler, then we can have the tank taken out on that massive. And this was like a year and a half ago. So we've been sort of like, for a year and a half, we've been going, oh, it's, it's, I mean, there's more to a story to it than that as well. Your food's down. Are you going to eat your food? No, it's Reese. Are you going to go for a walk? He's daddy, huh? Are you going to go for a walk? You want to eat your breakfast? Oh, God, I'm just talking to you, but nothing happened in the window. I'm supposed to be by the side. You want sweeties? Can I go for a walk? <laughs> Two words that you understand. Sweeties, let's go for a walk. I've decided I'm doing the bathroom. So I'm going to sort this cabinet in, which has got like all whatever medicines in it. And move the camera really fast. This cabinet, I told you it was pink in the 70s, and now I absolutely hate it. Um, and basically, this cabinet is just all four for one little part. And it's just full of like extras and stuff. So I'm going to empty everything in that cabinet out into some crates. Nothing's going to live in that cabinet anymore because it is going to be removed soon. Um, very soon. And um, yeah, that'll be me doing the declutter. So I'm going to empty all of this out into some crates. Alright, just before I start um, moving everything from the bathroom into the crate to declutter it, I just wanted to show you these two, there's actually four crates on my landing at the moment, um, but these two crates are my personal stuff, um, which I took out of my, I think nearly a handbag, um, I did a handbag declutter, before 30 days, 30 days or Condoree or whatever, of just handbags that I wasn't using anymore, and they're all listed up on eBay, um, so Really, I should bung these all back in with my handbags, and then when I do my handbags, I go, oh, look at all these bags of handbags I've got rid of. Um, so I'm not counting these as a bag in my 30 days in 30 days. No. I'm not counting these as a bag in my 30 bags in 30 days, but I just wanted to show you that I've got like two crates of stuff that I've got already rid of, or getting rid of, before I started the challenge. So, it, the reason why I'm going through this now is one of the handbags is sold on eBay and I've got to pack it up. So, that's my own personal stuff, two crates worth, that we'll get, was going. This other stuff is, um, husband's, mum or, and or dad's stuff that I've listed up on eBay as well. And there's, I don't remember what's in that crate, I'll have to have a look in a minute. But I just wanted to show you that before I started the 30 30 challenge, stuff was already getting ready to go. But this is a bit that bugs me when I've got all this, oh, there's another box there, that's packed that stuff to go to the charity. All this, you get it out of the main place and then you're sort of stuck with it because, you know, they might make like 170 and 100 pounds and all this kind of stuff. They're not really I'm not going to give my way, I don't say, oh, I will give my way. So, yeah, it's just this next phase of getting it out. But stuff is going, so. I'm hoping by the end of this weekend, this landing, you know, the top landing, will be clear. Because I deliberately leave it out here. <laughs> so it's in my face all the time. Because I could just easily tuck it in the front bedroom, shut the door, and forget about it. And that's what I don't want to do. I just want to keep it here and in my face so that eventually... You know, you get so sick of it, it goes. So, anyway, packing some orders at the moment for eBay. I'm going to get to the post office before it gets too hot because it's going to be a million degrees again today. So, okay, yes, let me go and do that. Right, I have emptied the pink cupboard and the top of the glass cupboard. So this is everything that was on top or in the, in that cupboard. So let's go through it all. Um... I don't know where stuff goes in there, it gets dumped in there. I've opened the little cupboard. I'm going to shut the door as well and do it out here. It's really warm today. It's like, tw oh, maybe I should leave it open. Let the light in so we can see what we're doing. And anyway, I'm going to put it on a tripod. Look at all this crap that's just stored in the cupboard in that pink cabinet in the bathroom. Be good to get rid of this. Right, and it's a, such a mismatch of stuff as well. Right, so there is a. L'Oreal casting cream which my friend was always trying to convince me to dye my hair I've never dyed my hair and she said well don't dye it just colour it 
and so she was like, go and buy, there's another one here, go and buy casting or go and buy um, Herbishine. And so I bought bought one of each, but then I just never did it because I've got a really sensitive forehead. Forehead. <laughs> I've got a really sensitive head and, um, you know, shampoo can irritate my head. And I didn't really ever, I don't know what like the best before dates on these are. Do they have best before dates? There isn't anything, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those, but they're not staying here. Um, let's just go back to this a minute. Now, this is all came from her husband's dad's house, and we've kept hold of them because we've cleaned out his bathroom, and um, he's not allowed to have too much extra stuff in the nursing home, and um, so we keep these here, and when he runs out of... What are these for? What are they for? Cleaning your false teeth? Yeah, hygienically clean dentures. So basically, when he runs out, we give him one of those, and that's the toothpaste that he prefers, so it gets kept in here. Uh, Bob Martin Stay Fresh 2-in-1 Dog Shampoo. We do actually still use that. There's a tiny little cupboard to the side. Um, now, I, think, I just saw this, and I've got no idea where this come from. My dog has never, ever had fleas in its life, so we would have bought this... <laughs> And it's called Four Fleas Dog Shampoo for the control of fleas on dogs over 12 weeks. And it expires 01-05-2012. So it's going in the bin. I don't think we'd even ever bought it. This one's still in date, is it? Yeah, we only bought this recently. It's the one that we use all the time. Oh, it's such a mismatch in here. Um, just, just the packaging from a Real Techniques... One of them spongy things, whatever they're called. I don't know why that's in there. Bin. And they're all net. Look at this. Look at the dust. Oh, I'm such a scumbag. Uh, L net satin. I hate L net because it smells really. It's not even been used there. It's not even been open. Oh, I'll give that to my mum. She likes it. I might bother spraying it. Now, these are brand new earbuds, cotton buds. Johnson's cotton buds, so I'll keep them. So, so far, we're keeping the dog shampoo and the earbuds. But where did this trough come from? I don't even remember this trough. Right. Uh, Sanex deodorant, 0%, 0% aluminium chlorate, 0% alcohol, 0% honey. And uh, I've never tried these. Oh, they smell nice. But I've got sensitive everything i got sensitive armpits and um when i use deodorant i get this lump come under my arm and i've had the lump tested and i went for all the scary time of oh i've got a lump under my armpit um and it is just basically something to do with deodorant so they recommended this thing but i've never used it because this is going to sound awful i don't use deodorant unless i really 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 have to so like a shower and wash and don't really use the odor much. Um, <laughs> that's terrible. But if I'm clean, you don't need it. Uh, this is a little travel thing. Travel. Why is everything so dusty? It's like watermarks. I can't get the little pot open. How do you open the little pot? It's a little travel shaver, razor. You know, lady. You know, for ladies. Doing your legs and your armpits. You know what I mean. I'll keep that. If I can get it back in its little pot. There you go. That's cute. Nivea Soft. I gave this to husband for his. He gets dry elbows. But I don't think he uses it because he uses the men's one now. Did he open it? Doesn't look like it's been opened. Mm. And a horrible dusty pot that I'm going to put in the dish for it. Actually, in there there's a comb, which I think my husband used to use, but I'm throwing it in the bin. Uh, hair bobble, you know, a hair tie, which actually I probably keep. And the instructions for some vitamin D supplements, which can go in the bin. And this needs a good wash. So I'm going to put, look at the dust in there. I'm going to put that in the, actually I'll put them in there for now. I'll put it downstairs in the tumble uh, dishwasher. 
Oh my god, do you remember when this came out? It's probably out of date as well. Ultra stains on. As seen on TV. <sighs> Ultra stains on. Ultra stains out. <laughs> Concentrated stain remover. Removed oil, grease, blood, ink, lipstick, wine, grass stains, nail polish, shoe polish, tar, paint, food stains. Use on tile, concrete, marble. And it's supposed to be made of banana juice or something. And it was crap. It's made in Oakville, Ontario. Anyway, I'm putting it in the bin. Spartone. Um, iron supplements. Oh, this is when they couldn't find out what was wrong with me and they gave me a million different vitamin things. They, this is what they gave me, these spar tones. They're like, they're like the sachets of... Um, these are all the ones I never used. So these, they're still in date. I don't know what to do with them really. I'm not going to take them, I don't think. 28, one a day, sachets. Add to fruit juice. Everybody loves it. Pregnant and postnatal women. I was neither pregnant nor postnatal. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with those. Probably. I don't know. I don't know. Stuff off. Oh, this! I was looking for this. What is this under there for? Removes chewing. It's a bit like um, a sticky stuff remover. Well, it is sticky stuff remover. This one actually might have come from the father-in-law's house when we tied it. Yeah, because mine, I never had a spray. Removes chewing gum, sticky labels, wax. It's going to keep that because it. Where's the stuff I'm keeping? That's going in the bin. That's going in the bin. This is. Oh, this is the stuff I'm keeping, and then that's the stuff that's going downstairs. Oh, I always forget you're there and just start talking things out. I don't know what this is. It's a piece of material with little, little dolls on it. It's like little cupid dolls. I don't even know what's in there. Aunt Lindy's paper doll. Aunt Lindy's paper doll sibling art studio for blue kilt fabrics. Something like that. I don't know what to do with that. Ah, dead sea salt. Softens and smooths dry, itchy skin. Supports natural heat, so it's like Epsom salt. Suitable. Is it actually sort of just dry? I don't know. It says magnesium chloride. Naturally rip in magnesium, potassium, calcium and bromide. Helps soothe and repair the skin. Yeah, I used it. I used it to have a bath in. That one's unused, so I will keep that one. Which, funnily enough, look at this. Wow. Original black mud from the mineral rich Dead Sea. Now, we actually bought this when we went to uh, Israel and you go to the Dead Sea and you, you know, you float in the salt, <laughs> salt, the Dead Sea. You float in the Dead Sea because you can't swim in it because it's really dense. And there's this black mud that before you go into the Dead Sea, you like coat your body in it and all this kind of stuff. And then in the gift shop, you can buy packets of it which of this is and we brought packets it packets of it back for everyone but there's the old um words in israeli and this contains 100 percent black mud from the dead sea from edom limited tel aviv israel now when did we go to israel more than 10 years ago Maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, maybe 10 years. So this is, but it's got no date on it. You know, if this was in the Israel shop, it'd probably still be there. But I'm um, throwing that in the bin. I'm probably thinking it's too far out of date. Now, this is husband's wash bag, which needs a wash. <laughs> and he's got in there his shaver, razor, shaver, electric razor case, travel stand and travel charger and that's all we've got in there. So I'll probably keep that but I, mean, I think I might put this in the washing machine because it needs a good old wash. Wrapper in there. 
And then this is my... Why did they get all manky, didn't they? Travel bag, which... Okay, so it's got some tooth... And then tooth... You know the little brushes, the interdental brushes? They can go in the bin. I should have bought a bag up. Let me go and get a bag. We have an Ocado bag today. Um, so the inter used interdental brushes are going in there. What else is in here? This is my toothbrush when I use a stick, a uh, normal toothbrush, toothbrush case. Ultra Sun, high SPS 50, super sensitive. This is the one that supposedly never goes off, isn't it? I don't know. Oh no, look, it says, once open, use within 24 months. So, that can go in. Oops. Oh, how weird. You know the thing? It actually just broke off. How weird. Anyway, it's in the bin. So that's in the bin, and then this is a soap case, which has probably got soaps. Where is this? This must be Bruce's dad's. Where does that come from? It's a brand new bar of soap that just says pure on it. Not the soap that we use. I don't know what it's like to do with. Oh, it's done. Put that in there anyway. Put me, uh, I think I'll put that in the dishwasher as well. Right, let's have a look what's in here. A uh, little tiny bottle of Johnson's baby oil. Put that there for now. Nivea moisturiser for men. Is it open? I don't think husband's ever going to use that. So, Billy. Uh, that's his hair gel when we travel. This one's not, this is still sealed. So keeping that, keeping that. That's his little travel hair wax or whatever it is. If he uses. Mm, Tresemme Luxurious Moisturiser. I used to use the Tresemme stuff. I don't anymore. Ooh, ah, I'm cramping my feet. Ah, 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 ah. Um, that one's half empty, so it might have been in. This one's new. Just put it there for now. And then, oh yes, my Elemis Milk Bath. Oh, I'll keep that. That needs to. These things need a wipe down. So let's pop them all back in there for now. Pop that in, pop that in, pop that in. Those, oh, not those. I'm going to pop those in. So they will need to have a little wash. Right, these are um, Andrix wet wipe toilet paper. <laughs> um, we probably don't need to live in there because the toilet's not in there. So I'm going to put them somewhere else. And then this is spare soap. This is my favourite soap in the whole world. And we used to get it. Oh, it's really runny. I wonder if that's because the world's hot. It's um, Dettol, kills 99% of bacteria and removes viruses. It's honey, it's lovely. And we used to buy it like in Sainsbury's. It was just like with all the other soaps. And then Sainsbury's stopped making it, stopped selling it. And I was like, oh my god, so we went to Tesco's and Tesco's didn't have it in stock and we went to Asda and Asda didn't have it in stock. And I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to find my soap again. And then Boots had it in stock and they were doing a um, half price on it. So I bought like, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I probably at the time bought maybe 15. <laughs> so I'm keeping those. So hang on a minute, let's put the keeping stuff back in. So keeping, keeping the Dead Sea salt, keeping the stuff off but not, it's not staying down here, up here, keeping the dog shampoo, giving that to my mum, keeping the earbuds, am I going to keep the soft refreshingly moisturiser with cream with vitamin E? Yeah, well I can always give it to Brittany. Uh, keeping me little, oh that should go with the travel stuff though. Let's put it in there. And I don't know what to do with that little thingy. But that's all the kit. Oh, and the two deodorants. Keeping those as well. Alright, onto this one. Right. Lizzo Cleanse and Polish Hot Cough Cleanser. I just got this 
um, as a present and I do use it so keeping that it's just a new one Diflane sore throat rinse this was when I had a sore throat, <laughs> the doctor prescribed it for me. I think it's out of date. Coming up to out of date. It's not been, not even been used, not even been open. I'm going to have to throw that away, but you have to throw medicines away safely, didn't you? So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it there with the stuff that I don't know what to do, that's going, but I don't know what to do with. Sorry that you can see the Google and everything. You can see me in a little bit. There you go. So you can see the dust in its full glory. Uh, this baby shampoo, I've got another one in there. I use it. I only use it to clean the makeup brushes. Let's pop it there for a minute. Oops. Let's just chuck that over there. Tresemme heat defense. I don't use this at all. I think my friend bought it around when she was gonna try and straighten my hair, and we never did. It's brand new. It's never been used. I'm gonna put it there with the. I don't know what I do with those. This again, I think, is father-in-law's. Smooth, softens, and relieves dry and temperate skin. Perfume-free, hypoallergenic. Expires 11, 2015. So that's out of date. Gone, dead. That's in. Has that got a date on it? No. What else had a date on it? So. Right, these are my two... What came in that? Real Techniques Miracle Complex sponge. That's my new one and that's my old one. Look at the difference. One was really sort of... Anyway, I think they're both probably going to be, to be fair. Um, God, there's some random stuff in here. Some well random stuff. There is a pair of craft scissors with a postal thing, not keeping those. Um, I'm going to put them in the charity box, which is right behind me. Oh, keeping those. These are them little gloves with a rough that you um, rough up your skin with. <laughs> you know what I mean. A sock. Why? Just a sample of rainforest moisture hair butter for dry hair. Don't need that. These are travel things that you like. You put shampoo in, whatever. I think some I got on in my Christmas stocking or something. Um, and I was mm, quite as a pot with this travel stuff. A Lola Rose jewelry pouch, which I don't know why it's there. Right, hang on, let's. Get this out first of all. This is what used to be the um, spare shampoo. So this is the shampoo that husband uses, head and shoulders. And this is actually this is conditioner, conditioner, and conditioner. This is all the conditioner that I used to use, which I don't use anymore. Why don't I use it anymore? I don't know really. There's no reason why I don't use it anymore. Bloody lot of it though, aren't they? For dry, frizzy, prone hair. That's exactly what I've got. Is that one? They're two different. Well, anyway, there's no reason not to keep those, is there? I mean, what else am I going to do with them? Do they have a date on them? Um, I think it was when I was just trying to stop using so many chemicals really. <laughs> Bung them in there, put husband's ones in there, that could go in the that needs to go in the bottle. That needs to go in the dishwasher. This is the box for my um, electric toothbrush. I need to go wash that and in. Oh, these weird things. I don't even know where they came from. It's just a tongue cleaner. I don't think neither me and my husband, I'll ask him if he wants to, but I don't think either of us, neither of us have used, I don't even know where they came from. Oh, that's 
husband's dad's soap, so my father-in-law's soap, and so is this. He, that's the soap that he uses, Imperial Leather. So when, like I said, he's not allowed, in the nursing home, he's allowed to have, like, one aftershave, one, not aftershave, deodorant, one, toothpaste. He's not allowed to have spares, really. So we keep them here for when he needs them. Then there's a random, they was all in his house, stored at his house, and we just bought them here. Just like little ephemera bits. I don't want them. Put them there. This is a shower cap, which I used to use when I deep conditioned my hair. The elastic looks like a I'm just going to tighten it in. Rubbish. This is washing up liquid. I know it is. Yeah. It's when we used to go and stay at a cottage and we used to take some washing up liquid with us in a little bottle, in a thingy. Empty it out. Oh, these are husband's dad's as well. I mean, we, he's not allowed to have them. I think I might just throw these away because they've gone rusty. They're um, big heavy duty toenail clippers. Like the packet's rusty. What is that bit there for? Oh, to give it leverage. Huh. Anyway, can't be stainless steel if they've got rust on them. This product has sharp edges. I don't know how I'm supposed to dispose of them then. But probably not straight in the bin. Oh, Michael Di Cesare Crystal Shine. This was rubbish. It just was wet, shiny stuff that went in your hair. Put that in the bin. These again, these were husband, dad, but you used to cut yourself to bilio with them, so I think I'm just going to put those in the bin. Oh my word, state of this pot. Right, this is Enemis Lime and Ginger Stalk Glow, and I used to use it all the time. God, the pot is welded shut, look. Oh. It's like a, it smells nice. Oh, it still smells really nice. Mmm. What is that? Lime and ginger? Can't smell the ginger. It still feels alright, but it's probably out of date. It's got one of these like mason sort of jar fitting things. I used to like any of this stuff to I had an allergic reaction to it. How do I shut it? Oh, I can't shut it now. Anyway, it's going in the bin. Skin nourishing shower cream. Well, that looks like it's curdled, so bin. Now, these are the shampoo and conditioner that I use at the moment, which is for sensitive scalp. That's the 100% natural, 70%, 77, no, Jesus. It's because this headache that I've got. 97% natural, naked care. Gentle conditioner. For sensitive souls, some things are like a red rag to balls. So we use soothing neroli oil from orange blossom and calming cottonseed to help prevent dry, red, itchy scalp. We've made lots of naturally indigo ingredients without sulfates, parabens, or petrochemicals. This is goodness in a bottle. That's the conditioner, and then this is the shampoo. Sensitive scalp, neroli, and oatmeal shampoo. And then this is when I do this is curl. Curl Taming Cream, same company, no parabens, blah, 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 silicon free, blah, 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 blah. We don't believe in testing our ingredients on Bambi, Lassie or Skippy. Vegetarian and vegan friendly. And then Dove Soap, which is what Luband, Usband uses. And that's that. So I managed to do, where's the bag? Oh, no, I haven't quite finished yet. That's Move that out of the way. Oh, get my crampy legs going. I've got this bag and this bag to do. So, what is in here? Let's just take it out. It's easier. Now, this used to come away on holiday with me. Oh, I've got a Venus blade. That's always handy. I've got 
another one of those sticks that go in your teeth. Not used. I've got some Tresemme hairspray. Keep that. I've got a used bottle, so it's recycling. I've got a mini Colgate toothpaste. Unopened for travel, stick that in with the travel stuff. I've got a oh, mini head and shoulders, unused, travel. Got that. These are another two, two we bought these two um, to match. I'm going to put those in to go in the dishwasher as well, give them a clean. Rubbish. Pro Radiance, L LMS Pro Radi Radi Radiance Cream Cleanser. Is that open? Or has it got a thing on it? I can't see. I don't really use it anymore anyway. Bin it. And there's another one, and this one isn't open. Because this is a pump. Oh yeah, it's by the difference this one's not been opened. Uh, I used the uh, Elemis one. Not the Elemis one. The... What's her name? What's that one? What is that hanging down? Oh look, it's my hair, but where's the sun shining for it? Look, it looks like a cobweb. Um, Lizelle, I used the Lizelle one rather than the Elemis one now. It's quite nice for travel though. I'll stick it in with the travel bag. Right, now this, when I bought my, when I got my, you know them toothbrushes, the electric toothbrushes? This one came with it. I don't know what it is, it's just got like two tiny little bits on it. Is it supposed to go to between the edges or something? I don't know. Husband's just bought one, so maybe he'll use it. Right, what's in here? I think I know what's in here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's ladies' things in here. Things that you would use if you were a lady. Travel ladies' bag. Just put that in there. That's empty. That's a brand new dental floss. I can go in there. This is the thing that you push your hair back with, you know, when you're washing your face. And a new brush. And that's going to need to keep this. Well, I'm going to put it with the other ones, and then when I do them, I can determine whether to keep that or not. What's all this rubbish? This looks like stuff stolen from a hotel. <laughs> ah, Crabtree and Evelyn. I don't know. This coarse textured heart is ideal for buffering off rough skin on hands and feet. Moisten before use. No, I'm not going to use that. I haven't bought it for me. A BBC shop receipt for Doctor Who anniversary DVD. Rubbish. A stamp. <laughs> uh, what's this? Ernest Jones. With nothing in it. Oh, this is the. Why was this in here? This is so very random. This is the jewelry box that this eternity ring came in. So this is the box, and then this is the bag. But the bag is a mess now. So I can go in the bin, and I'll put the box in the bedroom. The real techniques rubbish thing. Is that another crystal shine? It can't be another one. It is. Oh my god. Oh, that's not even that good. Uh, molten brown. Bath and shower. Probably stolen from a hotel. Uh, nail and be nail strengthener. Never used. Husband's mum used to buy it for me every Christmas. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Does it supposed to look like that? I oh, know. Do it that way. This is a hotel thing as well, I think. Bath salts, relaxing bath salts. Badger unscented healing balm. Still sealed in a tin. Let me just pull that label off. Unscented healing balm. Ingredients, organic, extra virgin olive oil, castor oil, 
and beeswax. Hmm. I'll do that. Oh, do you remember this? Maybelline to sample of their Better Skin Foundation. I've never used it. I might try it. it doesn't hurt, does it? Put it in there. Scandalise. This came free. This is brand new. Oops. Look at the state of my hands. Ugh. Right, this is never used. It was one of them things if you bought something, you got it free. And I'm never in a million years going to use this. So I might get with that lot because I don't know. That's all stuff that's not keeping. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, a, showing, a sewing kit that obviously was stolen from a hotel. You know, one of those. Facial bar. Ooh. Oh, it smells nice. Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care. My mother in law used to keep these um, in her underwear drawers. That's the little tiny tweezers that go with my husband's mini Swiss Army knife. And then this is Damana. You know, when you stay in a hotel and you, there's all these little things, I always used to take them. I don't take them anymore. <laughs> and then this is my brand new blusher. <laughs> Why is it here? I bought a brand new blusher. It was when I got that actually. Bought at the same time as that. But I will use that. And there's another hair bubble. So that's it. So let me put all the stuff that needs to go somewhere else. Somewhere else. And that is... Here's all the travel bits. Where's my toothbrush? Oh no, I'm going to put all the toothbrush cleaners in the dishwasher, aren't I? Toothbrush holders. I think I'll do the same with that soap dish. So, this is all unused travel bits and bobs. You know, the little... You might be able to see what I'm talking about. You know, the little travel size things. That's the travels filly up things. And this is a travel cosmetic bag. And so oh. is this. It's like the one that you have to use on your So I'm sticking them in the bottom drawer where the things live. My husband ones as well, they both need a wash. Not sure whether you've got them in a washing machine. And that needs to go it's rubbish. Rubbish. That needs to go in my thing. Right. I think I'm done. That's rubbish that needs to be emptied out and then put in the recycling. Um, I don't know what to do with that because that needs to go in my makeup bag. That's all stuff that needs to be washed, put in the dishwasher. This is stuff that I'm not keeping. That needs to be emptied out and then recycled. Someone's probably going to want these spartones, but I've got to find out where. I'm giving that to my mum. I might just give that back to my friend. I've got no idea what to do with that. I probably will just chuck it. This is the bin so far. And this is the stuff that is being kept so far to go back into the bathroom. But whether it goes back into the cabinet, I don't know, because that's being removed soon. Let's just put these back in here for now. For now. 